Really the key for a winemaker or a viticulturist is what do you do, how do you react when things aren't exactly perfect? And in fact, maybe the most satisfying wines that I've made have come in the more challenging years still being able to produce a great wine. I'm Marcus Nataro, a winemaker at Stagsy Wine Cellars. Today, we are going to taste through our SLV, Cash 23, and Fay from the 2020 vintage. So 2020, during the growing season, it's actually a very nice growing season, and the vineyards were actually very well balanced. Of course, the end of the growing season was a little more dramatic, let's say. We had a couple series of uh, fire events. Uh, that started actually over in uh, Sonoma County and then a more significant fire event that happened later on in September over in Napa County. But, you know, fires are not unusual. It's something we, that you learn, you know, in winemaking. Not every year you have everything is in a row. About a week before uh, a field is set to be harvested, quite simply, you go into the field, you pull a sample, and you do a little mini fermentation. If the grapes are compromised, you smell it, you can taste it, and then there's some technical analysis that you can do that can really give you the clues as to what to do. In 2020 though, the laboratories in Napa Valley were swamped, let's say, with samples. Luckily enough, I had a friend in a lab outside of Napa Valley. This was time to make that call, and it's like, Chris, I need some numbers <laughs> and I need them fast. We were able to get that analysis back. It certainly gave me a lot of confidence in going ahead and harvesting the Fay and SLV vineyard. So why don't we start with 2020 Fay? The Fay vineyard has a distinct perfumey and bright berry character. And I think that is something that definitely shows through in all of the vintages. So the taste still has the nice supple, that signature smoothness that you get from Fay Cabernet Sauvignon, but this is in a bolder, richer vintage. This is wine that is definitely something that can be put in the cellar or enjoyed in its youth. All right, well, let's taste the 2020 Sagsley Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon. So 2020 with SLV, you know, it, along with the other 2020 wines, uh, has a little more of that black licorice character, violets, and a little more like black currant and a bit of like a black tea and a graphite type note to it. And the Cabernet Sauvignon that is produced from this vineyard has this distinctly cocoa powder characteristic. It has the plush tannins, but rich. This is definitely a vintage, as with any of our wines, you can enjoy them when they're young, but the 2020s can go down in the cellar as well. Right, we're gonna taste the 2020 vintage of our top wine that we produce here, Cast 23. It's a very aromatic wine with a floral characteristic. It has this very youthful berry note that also just kind of jumps out at you when, when you first smell this wine. I'm looking for longer and a more lasting aftertaste, and that's definitely what you get here. You can still taste the flavors of this wine even for an extra minute after you've tasted it. There's our 2020 Estate Wines, Fay, SLV, and Cash 23. I hope you come by to taste them, and I hope you bring them home to enjoy either tonight or to put down in your cellar for a decade. Cheers. Mm -hmm.